the purification of the sons of Levi. Elijah. Bible Study, 1965. We have been inclined to think that where there are no faithful ministers, there can be no true Christian, but this is not the case. God has promised that where the shepherds are not true he will take charge of the flock himself. God has never made the flock wholly dependent upon human instrumentalities. But the days of purification of the church are hastening on apace. God will have people pure and true. In the mighty sifting soon to take place, we shall be better able to measure the strength of Israel. Serious days confront the Israel of God, grand and awful times are before us, we have come to a crisis hour momentous events are taking place immediately. In such chaotic times of the past, what has God done to assure his people of his leading? Study the past history of Israel. These are God's promises for Israel today. Who is the Elijah? In Hebrew Eliyahu, Eli, my God, Yah, Jehovah, who, he is Tishbite inhabitant, dwelling. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down, 1 Kings chapter 18, 30. Prophecy must be fulfilled. The Lord says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Somebody is to come in the spirit and power of Elijah, and when he appears, men may say you are too earnest, you do not interpret the scriptures in the proper way. Let me tell you how to teach your message. Here we are assured that at the right time he would send his messenger to deliver his people out of their distresses. By the fact that Elijah was a man of like passions as we, shows us that Elijah was the dwelling place of God's word. We conclude, therefore, those who are declaring a message of judgment are doing a work, the antitype of Elijah, the Tishbite, and those proclaiming a message, the kingdom nigh at hand, are doing a work, the antitype of Elijah, John the Baptist. These are the Elijah messages and the people proclaiming they are the Elijah message bearers. However, since these messages are brought by inspiration, they must originate with one person after the manner of Elijah, the Tishbite, and Elijah, John the Baptist. Elijah, the Tishbite, proclaimed, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him but if Baal, then follow him, 1 Kings chapter 18, 21. Elijah, John the Baptist, declared, Repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is nigh at hand, Matthew 3, 2. It was believed among the Jews that Elijah would come to announce the Messiah's reign in his kingdom Matthew chapter 17, 10. If the Jews had received him, John, it would have been accomplished for them. Jesus said of John, And if ye will receive it, this is Elias which was for to come, Matthew eleven fourteen. Jesus further declared, Elias truly shall come and restore all things, Matthew 17, 11. 
By studying the scriptures it can well be seen that John did not come to restore Israel's lost kingdom John chapter 1, 21, and the desolate land like the Garden of Eden Ezekiel 36, 35. But rather, John came to baptize and introduce to the Jews their king, the Messiah, who was the word of God John chapter 1, 1, 14, and who was at that time to restore the kingdom, and all things. Had the Jews received John they would have had no difficulty in accepting the word of God, who is the Elijah that restores all things, even the kingdom Matthew 17, 11. As Jesus and the great procession was about to descend the Mount of Olives and as the great concourse of people reached the rulers of Jerusalem and as they question, who is this, the disciples, filled with the spirit of inspiration, answer this question. In eloquent strains they repeat the prophecies concerning Christ. Adam will tell you, it is the seed of the woman that shall bruise the serpent's head. Ask Abraham he will tell you, it is Melchizedek king of Salem, king of peace Genesis chapter 14, 18. Jacob will tell you, he is Shiloh of the tribe of Judah. Isaiah will tell you, Emmanuel, Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah 7, 14 and 9, 6. Jeremiah will tell you, the branch of David, the Lord our righteousness, Jeremiah 23, 6. The glorious destiny that might have blessed Jerusalem had she accepted her Redeemer rose before the Son of God. He saw that she might through him have been healed of her grievous malady, liberated from bondage, and established as the mighty metropolis of the earth. From her walls, the Dove of Peace would have gone forth to all nations. She would have been the world's diadem of glory. That which God purposed to do for the world through Israel, the chosen nation, he will finally accomplish through his church on earth today, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name, Isaiah 62, 2, read Isaiah chapter 60, 1, 5. Thank you.